Welcome to another edition of Adult Book Talk. Glad you could join us. As the snow melts and we pine for longer and warmer days, remember that the peak reading season is quickly approaching. Here, I've chosen several books that you might find noteworthy. All descriptions are courtesy of the author's publishers. The Girls in the Stilt House Ada promised herself she would never go back to the trace, to her hard life on the swamp and her harsh father. But now, after running away to Baton Rouge and briefly knowing a different kind of life, she finds herself with nowhere to go but back home. And she knows there will be a price to pay with her father. Matilda, daughter of a sharecropper, is from the other side of the trace doing what she can to protect her family from the whims and demands of some particularly callous locals is an ongoing struggle. She forms a plan to go north, to pack up the secrets she's holding about her life in the South and hang them on the line for all to see in Ohio. As the two girls are drawn deeper into a dangerous world of bootleggers and moral corruption, they must come to terms with the complexities of their tenuous bond and a hidden past that links them in ways that could cost them their lives. Good Company. With Cynthia Diapri Sweeney's signature tenderness, humor, and insight, Good Company tells a big hearted story of the lifelong relationships that both wound and heal us. Flora Mancini has been happily married for more than 20 years, but everything she thought she knew about herself, her marriage, and her relationship with her best friend Margot is upended when she stumbles upon an envelope containing her husband's wedding ring, the one he claimed he lost one summer when their daughter Ruby was five. Flora and Julian struggled for years, scraping together just enough acting work to raise Ruby in Manhattan and keep Julian's small theater company, good company, afloat. A move to Los Angeles brought their first real career successes, a chance to breathe easier, and a reunion with Margot, now a bona fide television star. But has their new life been built on lies? What happened that summer all those years ago? And what happens now? The Good Sister. Fern Castle works in her local library. She has dinner with her twin sister Rose three nights a week, and she avoids crowds, bright lights, and loud noises as much as possible. Fern has a carefully structured life, and disrupting her routine can be dangerous. When Rose discovers that she cannot get pregnant, Fern sees her chance to pay her sister back for everything Rose has done for her. Fern can have a baby for Rose. She just needs to find a father. Simple. The Social Graces. In the glittering world of Manhattan's upper crust, where wives turn a blind eye to husbands' infidelities, and women have few rights and even less independence, society is everything. The more celebrated the hostess, the more powerful the woman. And none is more powerful than Caroline Astor. But times are changing. Alva Vanderbilt has recently married into one of America's richest families. But what good is money when society refuses to acknowledge you? Alva, who knows what it is to have nothing, will do whatever it takes to have everything. Sweeping three decades and based on true events, this is a gripping novel about two fascinating, complicated women going head to head, behaving badly, and discovering what's truly at stake. The Granite Coast Murders. Inspector Dupin and Claire are on a two-week vacation, but while Claire seems to enjoy the quiet of the beach, 
Commissari Dupin takes every opportunity to leave the beach towel. The fabulous dinners on the hotel patio and the rumors about a stolen statue of a saint are the few interesting moments of his days on vacation. But then a tourist vanishes without a trace and there's an attack on a deputy to the local assembly who is involved in confrontations with local farmers. Shortly after that, the Brittany Beach Resort is shocked by the discovery of a corpse. A Woman in Moscow. In the autumn of 1948, Iris Digby vanishes from her London home with her American diplomat husband and their two children. The world is shocked by the family's sensational disappearance. Were they eliminated by the Soviet intelligence service? Or have the Digbys defected to Moscow with a trove of the West's most vital secrets? Four years later, Ruth McAllister receives a postcard from the twin sisters she hasn't seen since their catastrophic parting in Rome in the summer of 1940, as war engulfed the continent and Iris fell desperately in love with an enigmatic United States embassy official named Sasha Digby. Within days, Ruth is on her way to Moscow, posing as the wife of counterintelligence agent Sumner Fox in a precarious plot to extract the Digbys from behind the Iron Curtain. But the complex truth behind Iris's marriage defies Ruth's understanding. And as the sisters race towards safety, a dogged Soviet KGB officer forces them to make a heartbreaking choice between two Re irreconcilable loyalties. Think Spring. Our seed library is opening in March, so ready your garden in anticipation of this year's bounty. See the newsletter for details or stop by the adult services desk for information. <laughs>